Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today I have got music in the background by the wonderfully gifted musician Erica Rasmussen. Erica, I hope I've pronounced your name correctly and I wanted to thank you so much for gifting me this beautiful piece of music. Last year at Christmas time, it's really nice. I get messages from some of you guys in my email just saying thank you for the picket cards, thank you for the work that you do. And one of you was so incredibly kind to send me a song that you have been working on and it's a beautiful piece of music that is in tribute to Lord Ganeshji. And it's pretty amazing that I'm using this piece of music in this particular pick a card because this is the first pick a card reading where I will be using my deck, my Vedic Astrology deck, which I made guys. So I'm going to be using that in this reading as well. So this time to pick, you can pick either by your number or by the look of these tarot cards, so one, two or three, or I'm going to edit in some footage as well and you can have a little experience, you can watch these bits of footage and see. So the first one is a scene for group number one, this is a scene of Camp Cove in Sydney, Australia. And then the next bit of footage we're going to have for group number two is, I think this is going to be two tiny little rainbow lorikeets. And then the third group, group number three, so that's group number two, the two rainbow lorikeets. In group number three, we are going to have some footage of, I think it's going to be a duck in the wilderness. Hi there group number one, if you chose group number one then you're in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what we have here, before we do that, in the jar today we have got a lot, as you can see we've got a lot of Paulo Coelho, he is a brilliant um, writer, I've read his book, I think it's called The Alchemist, is that right? Great book, <laughs> I read it a long time ago. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle some of these. I also wanted to share with you my Vedic Astrology deck. This is super exciting. I made this. I made this with my beautiful Wacom graphics tablet. As you can see, I'm a little bit of a graphic designer as well. And uh, we will be shuffling from this incredibly special deck. I love it. I'm happy. I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, I don't know what it's going to turn out like, but I'm really happy. So that's good. Um, but let's shuffle here and see what's going on. Now the footage that you chose was the beautiful water, Sydney Harbour, Camp Cove. I think it's my favourite, I think it's my favourite place, part of Sydney. It really is. I just love going there. You know, I've been swimming there and um, had picnics there. It's just a beautiful place. So let's see what we've got in here. I'm going to shuffle. I hope you've had a good week wherever you are and I hope you are enjoying this you know time of relaxation you've carved out some special time just for you just for you to unwind and we're gonna hang out and see what comes so I draw one of these I don't know quite what I'm doing <laughs> there we go let's take that one and let's see We'll take, well, why don't we take one of these as an oracle deck and we can look at the oracle deck cards first. I quite like doing it that way around. 
oh and of course well let's honor shani satin uh, with this deck and then we'll draw one from my deck okay we'll take that one these could be reversed they could be in all kinds of different positions and oh th now this one is an interesting one to shuffle i've got to kind of limber up here <laughs> this is like it's a very meaty deck 108 cards guys so oh that one definitely wants to be there okay all right well as it is the first time that we're using this deck why don't we see what lord ganesha has to say right i'm amazed that this this arrived um, this week when I was planning to use Erica Rasmussen's piece of, oh, how fantastic, Sun in the Eighth. Right. Now, you might be wondering what that little star is all about. That is the Exaltation House. So we can see that the Sun is quite far away from its um, Exaltation spot. So this is a it's, a, it's a kind of a diminished light here that we have. So if Exalted lives long. Okay, so that's if... Aries was here. Charming speaker. Okay, so you're excellent when it comes to speaking. If afflicted might be disgruntled, eyes are weak, money may be tight, we'll have few children, mostly male. Okay, well, let's take a look and see what else is going on. And I kept it all very true to, in terms of the writing here, I, I, um, I kept it very true to reality you know I didn't want to sugarcoat anything so you know we do have some challenging things here but I think that's important to be true all right wealth fantastic tiger lily wonderful gosh that's beautiful okay divine connection lovely And that does look a bit like the Northern Lights up there. Incredible. It's got a real sort of winter feel to it with the Northern Lights, this wintry sun. I talked about uh, Bruce Lee has a Scorpio sun and I mentioned that that was a wintry sun. Let's see what Saturn has to say. The Queen of Swords. Okay, mm, we've got some, some strict energy. She can be a bit strict sometimes, Queen of Swords. She doesn't mess around. She gets on with it. All right. Let's see what we've got in here. Four of Cups. Four of Cups can be, you know, a bit of restlessness, even a bit of boredom. Can be a sort of a lack of movement. Not much going on. Oh, the lovers are beautiful. This is kind of like a um, Beauty and the Beast type of thing, isn't it? This depiction. Oh, I love that. Wonderful. Okay. And the moon. Wow. So you're feeling reflective, maybe. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. This could be a situation where perhaps you are waiting. Perhaps you are waiting to hear from someone. Perhaps you are waiting for movement in a relationship. Maybe there's a relationship that you're in that is very quiet, where not much is going on. I think for me, I think the chief thing that's going on here I think this card divine connection we've got divine connection and the lovers these two are really strong here and these two are showing me that I think at the moment what's on your mind or what's occupying your it's like your your thoughts, uh, your private quiet thoughts. Look at that, private quiet thoughts, okay? This is like a hidden, um, your soul longs for perhaps this lover or this divine connection. And you might be wondering where this person is, what's going on, you're bored, <laughs> you're like, 
you know, and I think it's something to do with you're not hearing from this person. And I think it's both of you. I think both of you are reflective. I think, well, I think for you, I think you're in this moon phase. You're in this reflective time. You're thinking about things. And it, to me, it feels like a nice preoccupation. This kind of feels like, and maybe this is the person that you escape to in your thoughts or you just love thinking about them or, you know, that, that, that feels good to be with them. But it kind of, I am getting a quiet feeling to this, that there's not much going on. We also have the Queen of Swords here. There's a strictness, there's something to do, and I, this could be to do with the person that you're thinking about, the person that you're thinking about. Perhaps they, they've gone cold or, and I also get the sense that if they do speak, it might not be very nice. Like it might be, you know, they're just, they're in a, they're in a colder place. Because I'm seeing this other person that you're contemplating or thinking about as them. I do get a sense that it's probably not a great time to be striking up any conversations with them. That's that's what I'm getting. But this, to me, this Tiger Lily Wealth card, this is very much about your material life. You are building, you are growing, you are blooming. I think this is a real sign that you are doing great on your path. You're materializing good things. You're working hard. So I think there's a lot of confirmation energy here through this card. This card is confirming and saying, you're doing great, stay on the path. You know, you're blooming, you're doing wonderful. But it feels like there's something to do with love life that is, and maybe if you're single, maybe you're hoping to meet someone. You're hoping to meet someone new. And I would say the the new, you want the new because of the Four of Cups, but you're reflective about the past at the moment. You, there's someone or something from your love life in the past that you are very reflective about. This is, this is very much about a divine connection. And you likely very, very much perceive that this person, you are destined to be with this person, you're meant to be with them. Um, but do they feel that way about you? And that's where Saturn, the realist, is coming in, kind of saying, this is Saturnian energy here, right? This is my Saturn deck. She's upright, so that's good news for you. <laughs> in that, well, is it? You see, if she was reversed, that would be better news for you. Because, mm, and I say she, it could be a he, it doesn't matter. Uh, but like your person whom you're thinking about, yeah, actually that it's upright is not so good now that I think about it because I think this person has grown a bit cold and I think if you were to reach out to them, they would be a bit, well, you know, why, why are you reaching out kind of thing. I am getting that vibe from this card. We can draw another one. Let's see if we've got any more insight from Tarot. Oh, I was, almost took that one sticking out. Let's see if it'll come again. Sometimes when I've done this for myself and like I pull out a card and then I'm like, no, I don't want that one. And then I'll, I'll shuffle again and I'll get the exact same card. It's like the universe kind of telling you off going, wait, <laughs> don't cheat me. It's not going to work. <laughs> so whatever I push back in there, we're probably going to get it again. Oh, the two of wands. Wow. Okay. Gee, this person has been spending a lot of time at the gym, I think. <laughs> Too much time. That's that's a lot of person there. Um, okay, two of wands. Planning. Thinking. This doesn't feel like you're... I know that these are wands and this can be a thing of action. That maybe you're supposed to do something. But no, the, the two of wands and the three of wands, even though they are um, wands cards, they are fire cards, the activities that you're supposed to be doing, and definitely in this card, the activity you're supposed to be doing really is... Planning, strategizing, you know, being a bit high level. And that's the action that you need to take at this time. And I would say to keep building your empire, to keep building your wealth, 
you know, um, and to enjoy your wealth too, if that's something you can do. Okay, let's see what Paulo Coelho has to say. Love his quotes. He's got great quotes, great thoughts, great mind. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Be creative. Men only learnt how to fly when they stopped imitating birds. Yes. Yeah, be creative. And that's, I think, very much linking in here with this Two of Wands. And that's also, you know, I think where the attention needs to be is perhaps maybe you're escaping. This has an escapist feeling. Yes, uh, this has an escapist feel to it. This you know, divine connection, the lovers, the moon. I think you're escaping into fantasies of being with that lover, of being with that person, of, you know, enjoying being with them. But I think this guidance is coming in here to say, be creative. You know, that will take you out of, um, definitely out of this four of cups. Okay, if you've been bored, if you've been, you know, what's next? Why isn't it happening? Why is it taking so long? Be creative, definitely. Got to get busy, got to get busy on, and things that are for you, you know. Enjoy yourself, because this does have a vibe of, like, you're, if you're in a partnership with someone, it's kind of, this reading has a vibe of, let them do their thing. You be creative. Fantastic. Yes, enthusiasm is the force that leads us to the final victory. Absolutely. And this enthusiasm will, will snap you out of any boredom type ruts that you might be in, you know, and that's where being creative really helps. I'll tell you something, when I got my deck and I did my little video, and I'm, I'm just, like I've just recorded that unboxing video, by the way, guys, so that's why I'm a bit ungrounded, but wow, did I feel excited. Like, I was like, oh, this is so cool. And I felt enthusiastic and I felt, you know, like, yeah, there's something cool going on. And, you know, I don't know, like creativity is just the best thing in the world, I think. This is going to run out. This uh, reading is going to time out here. Aha, life is too short to be wasted in finding answers. Enjoy the questions. Yeah, and this one is speaking directly to this card here, you know, enjoy the time that you have, right? It's, you know, there's that phrase, people try to kill time and things like that. That's a terrible phrase, killing time. No, enjoy the time, you know? Um, I think it was Bertrand Russell who said, time that you enjoy is never wasted. Guys, this is about to cut out, we're at the 15 minute mark. I'm going to have to leave it here, but thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two or if you chose, I think the footage was those rainbow lorikeets, two of them having a lovely time together. Uh, so if you chose those two, you're in the right place. Now we've got Paulo Coelho in the jar today. I don't think I mentioned that at the start. And we also have my Vedic Astrology deck, which I love. I made it and it's turned out really cool. So as you can see, the cards are here, all um, 108 of them. It's absolutely massive. And I won't be selling it, guys, um, for now because I'm not very large. And uh, But, you know, we can enjoy it through these for now. And yeah, it's, um, gosh, that was a fun thing to do. And I'll be doing more. I'm, I'm going to make more. I've got plans for at least two more in my head uh, that I want to do. But I mean, who knows, you know, how I'm going to proceed and, and what it is that I'm doing. I kind of, I have loose plans, nothing, you know, hard and fast, because I suppose when you're working with divine energies or getting guidance or you know things things change and um so i tend not to i tend not to uh, so i do have plans but i don't i'm not too firm on them i've had many times in my life for example where you know i'm packing a bag and i'm off to australia and 
two, three weeks before that, I didn't know I'd be doing that. So my life goes like that, where I, I you know, sometimes have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and it's become that way, like especially, um, yeah, definitely for me, 2015, 2016 onwards, these kind of years, I started to live so much more intuitively. And it's really the way to go. I, I love living that way. Where you kind of know, but you don't really know. <laughs> you, you know, but you're open to changes. I think that's what it is. I'm always open to the fact that, you know, I, I, um, that everything could change, you know. Because it can, and it did. I, I certainly wasn't anticipating becoming unwell at the end of um, 2019. All right, now what else are we doing? Oh, Saturn. Let's do a Saturn one. <laughs> I'm not grounded, everyone. I'm going to try and get grounded. <laughs> because when I, when I got my astrology deck, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And I just recorded the unboxing video. So I haven't watched it yet. I mean, I think I'm just going to launch it as is. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even see. I don't even know which videos I'm watching. <laughs> But I knew, and I did mention to some of you guys on the readings that I do want to design a deck, which I now have in my hands. And this was always just a plan in my head. But um, And one of you did say, hey, I'd like to work with you. And I think I mentioned in the unboxing video that, yes, I'd love to work with you too. And in the future, that will be possible, guys. I'm really hoping so. I've, I've kept your details and I'm really hoping I get to work with you guys. Um, I just need to like... I don't know sort of earn some money first or something that's my difficulty that's that's the yeah I've got time and ideas and skills but you know I might be lacking in other areas okay so let's take a look where should we begin uh, we'll begin with this beautiful uh, Lord Ganesh Ji card and we'll see what's going on in here first oh fantastic Saturn in the fifth house cool so brings responsibility to creativity Marriage and children are delayed, knows their strengths and weaknesses, succeeds after many challenges. Yeah, definitely. And I really like this. Another thing that I, I possibly could have, um, which I'm just thinking of now, I could have written in here was, you know, Saturn in Leo. When I think about Saturn in Leo, one of the things I think there is like a limit on excess. This is the person who might you know, stop after one glass of champagne kind of thing. That's a, that's a good thing, right? Sometimes, we, you know, we want limitations uh, in certain places and sometimes it's good to have a limitation here where a person can be, you know, too much. Uh, this, this can be a place of excess as well. Okay, so let's take a look here. Ooh, my goodness, this is beautiful. Ranunculus. I think I've said that right. Dazzling charm. Fantastic. Well, this is amazing because this is so similar to this. Firstly, look at the colors, right? And we've got Saturn in, you know, Leo's house, the house of the sun. So that's a golden color and we've got dark blue and we've got dark blue and golden colors here. That is incredible. Actually, I am just going to read the guidebook for, I didn't read the guidebook for the last group. Let's take a look and see what this one is. Dazzling Charm. Okay, it says, oh, Ranunculus. Dazzling Charm, Charisma, you are magical right now. That is so cool. I would love to receive that. Wow. Okay. Uh, now, what do we have here? We've got, wow, Freedom. Yes. I think that's, I was just going to say, I think that's one of my favorite words. If I had a favorite word, I think that would be one of them. Freedom. Certainly a terrific spiritual goal to have, you know. Aren't we all trying to get free here? All right, the Seven of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Let's see what else we've got with tarot before I say anything there. Okay, we've got the Two of Swords. Got the King of Cups. Oh, 
Oh wow, we've got the sun. This is amazing. Amazing energy. We've also got a flashing camera battery. So I'm just going to switch the battery guys. Apologies about that. The battery was flashing. So anyway, and well, is that part? Let's incorporate that. Let's, let's bring that into the reading because yes, I was watching a video today, but I think I, I think his name is called Frank James. And it was all about how an introvert, like how an introvert feels when their battery is low. And um, this kind of feels like this could be for the introverts out there. I'll, I'll link it below if I can find it, that, um, that video by him. It's, it's really cool. It's really funny. And he explains what it's like, like when your battery is low. You know, it's just, yeah, you don't want to socialize and that kind of thing. And that could be what's going on here, actually. It could be this energy where, you know, because the world is full of options, right? And you can go out and you can do this and you can start a business and you can, uh, like, sometimes there's just too much going on. Interestingly, I don't know if you can hear that, the fridge noise just cranked up. Hmm, yeah, that and that noise has just come on in the background, it's quite loud. So it's like, yeah, the world out there can be full on. And there's something about, I think, you needing to, to just switch off the world if you can. And, and that can be things like, you know, yeah, like not, not, um, watching too much stuff on on YouTube which I, I do too much of and but I love it as well you know it's so much fun cool stuff that people make that I love to see but yeah sometimes we have to be disciplined aha okay here we go yeah there's something that you could do with disciplining right now and I think this is a bit of a tension between and how, how this manifests for you I don't know but in my world it would be I've become a bit of a YouTube junkie like you know that the videos are on the side and it's like oh how about this how about this how about this and it's like oh you know and pretty soon it's 11 at night and I'm like oh no so yeah it's that kind of thing now how that translates in your world it could be totally different but the concept is there's something that maybe you need to limit at this time. You could do with limiting it. There's part of you that's like, I really want to go for it. This, this could even be your creativity. And I completely relate to that because, um, you know, when I'm creating something or when I'm designing things, because I have so many ideas and I'm like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. And then every now and then, Saturn, physical body, you know, pipes up and, and limitation, right? It's like, no, you can't, you know, and night falls, right? And night, night falls, you have to, you have to sleep, you have to recharge the body. There is a recharge message going on here, definitely. So some of you, I think, need to recharge, even though the excitement of life or the world, you know, is there and there's lots you can do, but yeah feels like recharge time or some, some kind of limitation would be good for you at the moment. Interestingly, through limitation and through structure, we can find freedom. And this is something that I think there's a philosopher called, I'm pretty sure it's Eric Fromm, and he talks about this. He talks about the fact that through structure, you can actually do more. Through a limitation, you can actually do more. I'm actually thinking of, because we've got the sun here and we've got this, you know, in the fifth house of dating and all that, and this dazzling charm, I am thinking of love life here. And I'm thinking of a couple that I know where the lady is, she's very vibrant and she's very like fun and she wants to do lots of stuff, but he's very, yeah, he's a bit like this king of cups, but he's a bit in, he won't make a decision like left to his own devices. He wouldn't go anywhere or do anything. And she is this ray of sunshine and she's this fun person who's like, let's go. And because he married her through the structure of marriage to her, he has actually seen the whole world because she 
has had the ambition and the ideas to let's go there and let's do this and let's make this happen and you know he found freedom through a structure a lot of people they kind of um, have not great things to say about you know the institution of marriage right they say oh ball and chain or that person will restrict you or you know you'll be a kept person all this kind of thing that's not true Marriage can be hugely liberating, actually. A, a, a structure like that can actually enable you to do more. Another thing I'm thinking of here is comedians. You know, when there are some comedians who, like, they, they are great when you just give them a blank slate. But I've seen some comedians do better in debates when they're given a topic and they're asked, okay, they're told to focus. And when they're given a topic and they're told to focus or be structured, they're actually funnier. Isn't that interesting? So there's that kind of thing going on here in this spread. I think you could, there's something about your creativity being, be, will be able to be enhanced if you are structured about it. You might think a structure would be limiting or would dampen your creativity, but I actually think it will enable you to do far more. King of Cups. Hmm, this is interesting because we've got water energy here. I want to clarify him, actually. Oh, and then we should draw some Polo Coelho because I just realized I had to stop you midway so the timer is not going to give me an accurate thing. There we go. Let's see. The King of Okay, the moon. Wow, water again. Okay. Put that there. I think you probably just need some time out. You know, I think you probably just need... Yeah, it's back to that introvert thing. I think in order for you to be creative, for your creativity to get going, I think you do need some re you do need some rest. But then you are excited to work. This dazzling charm here, the sun. You're excited to work. You're excited to do a lot. But you could do with a little bit of reflective time and. Time reflecting, time on your own, time out, time out from the world, definitely. Let's take a look and see what's in here. Okay, we'll take three of these, see what comes. All right. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I love this. The world is changed by your example not by your opinion. Very true. You might have some opinionated people around you at the moment uh, who could do with doing some more activity because I'm not particularly getting any signals here that you need to be doing any activity. There's somebody around you or some people around you who need to know this bit of information. This is not you, so that's good because you are this creative person who, you know, you're just looking to be creative. Let's have a look at this one. Learning something means coming into contact with a world of which you know nothing. In order to learn, you must be humble. Yeah, it's very true. And I think from these energies, I'm seeing that you're a person who loves learning. So again, I think you're, and that might be part of the structure. There's some structure that's needed. There's, it's like there's some structure that's needed that when you put that in, it's going to enable all this freedom and creativity. And But you might think that structure will dampen your creativity, but no, it will actually expand it. And so it might be something you need to learn about structuring yourself. And the third and final one. Fantastic. If you want to be successful, you must respect one rule, never lie to yourself. I fully agree with that. And again, I think this, there's someone around you or some, some people around you who could do with these bits of guidance. This again is not you. <laughs> I don't see this as being you. I feel like these two bits of guidance, you're probably kind of like, if only those people knew this. But just 
model it yourself. That, and I mean, that is, you know, the world is changed by your example. So, yeah. But then we did talk about the introvert thing. If you are a quiet introvert, you probably are, are modeling, yeah, everything beautifully. Well, I think this is really good reading on the whole, especially for creative people. If you're really creative, this is definitely saying that, like I'm getting massive signals that the world needs and wants what you have. Please give it. Just need a little tiny bit of structure first. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I'm very behind on comments, but I'm gonna get on top of everything, hopefully in the next few days. So let me know how you get on and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose group number three, you're in the right place. Today, we have got quotes by Paulo Coelho in the jar. And we also have my Vedic astrology deck, <laughs> which I designed and put together and uh, we will be enjoying a card from here. And I'm so excited to use it. Um, it's been something I've been working on definitely these last couple of months and yeah, it arrived in the post and I was so excited. And I did an unboxing video. I haven't edited it yet. So maybe you might have seen that. I don't know. I don't know if what I'm doing. I'm kind of still working things out in my head <laughs> at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed very much the um, beautiful music by Erica. Oh, by the way, you've probably come in here through group number three or maybe you watched the video of, now let me think, I think it's going to be a duck. That's what I've got lined up for group three. So you might have seen the energy of a duck to bring you here. Ducks are so peaceful. And I always think they're very stylish as well. <laughs> Something about it's the gray and the white and the, 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 you know, they've got these kind of luminescent, well, some, the men have these beautiful feathers underneath. And dark beaks, but why do I think some of them have an orange beak? Maybe I'm thinking of a goose. I always think nature is an amazing colorist, like it's an amazing designer, you know, the colors it puts together. Nature always gets it right. Okay, um, then we're gonna have one of these. And then I have one from the Saturn deck. one from my deck. Okay, hold on. Let's make room. And we are paying tribute to Lord Ganesha, of course, whom we must always pay tribute to uh, as part of Vedic astrology. One of the things that we do. I honor him through like my little logo and I've got a little statue of him on my desk as well. Okay, let's see what's in here. Wow, okay, Saturn in the 11th house. Long and healthy life, commands a large network or employees, keeps few loyal friends, doesn't flash success, puts effort to earn wealth, absolutely. Yes, definitely. I think Saturn does love being in the 12th and he's very effective there too. All right, let's take a look and see what we've got here. We've got Cherry Blossom. Great. Seize the day. Yes, I love Cherry Blossoms. I had a friend in my soul coaching course who now she uh, would always send me just every now and then, like it, it wouldn't, she wouldn't do this often. This happened for years after we met at Soul Coaching. Like every few months, she'll just be like, I don't know why, but I have to send you cherry blossoms because her intuition was expanding and growing. And yeah, she would always send me these cherry blossoms and they, they always arrived at the most incredible times in my life. It was just like, wow. 
Okay, so it says here, seize the day, like life, like ephemeral cherry blossoms, is fleeting. Yeah, life is fleeting. Take risks, be bold. Get out of a rut so that your life can become more magical. Definitely. And we can do that. This is very much speaking of the fact that you use a little bit of your Mars firepower. You can ignite something new, you know, you can, you can do something different. Let's take a look here. Ooh, divine protection. Good. That's great. I've got number three here as well. Excellent. Good. What does Saturn have to say? <laughs> well, he's already spoken here. All right, the high priestess in reverse. Hmm, that will require some thinking. I'm kind of getting a vibe that it's now time for you to. Uh, so when she's upright. She can be quite, it's interesting, we were talking about introverts in group two. She can be quite introverted. She can be kind of isolated. She can be quite aloof. So in the reverse position, I think this is asking you to come, it's like in the human design, they talk about being up on the roof, right? You're up on the roof. It's like come down off the roof and be with the people now. That's kind of the, yes, the people. Look at that, Saturn in the 11th. Time to be with the people. This is also a humanitarian kind of a thing going on here. This is very much asking you, and you, that this is saying that you're going to be protected. Okay, seize the day, come out, share, give. You know, don't don't worry about people. I don't know, cursing you or stealing your ideas or whatever it is that you like. If you might be worried about that, you know, it's like, don't worry. Come and, come and be with everyone and, and share and give what you have to give, but we'll see what's going on in here. That's the vibe I'm getting so far. Okay, interesting. We had the Four of Cups in this exact position, I think in group number one. That's amazing. Meditation, okay. Mm, and here it's saying meditation. I was kind of talking about boredom. I was talking about other things there, but all right. We've got, yep, the Three of Swords. Sorrow, yes, I do know this card. Um, okay, let's see what the next one is. But I'm, I'm getting a strong sense that you're healing. I'm not getting a sense that this is a problem for you anymore. Five of Swords, defeat. Okay, I'm going to draw one more. We've got kookaburras laughing in the background. Don't know what that's about. Let's try to factor that in. And let's take another, let's have a look here. Where's the deck? Here it is. Is that upright? Wow, 10 of, ten of one's burden. Let's take it. Uh, and I want to take one more. Because this is superb. But then this is like, this is another storyline. What's going on up here? So I want to understand what this line is about. And we had the kookaburras laughing up here too, didn't we? Let's take that one. Hmm. Princess of Cups, dreams. Princess of Cups, dreams. Now this is the Page of Cups, which is, I like dreams. I like the use of the word dreams there. I think that's really quite good. But it's, this is like a new beginning in love. And I think there's something that you like, this is old. This is like really old. Mm, I know this comes after here. This is old. You've done this, you've gone through this. And I think you, you're at this understand, you know that you don't want to recreate this again. And what is this? This is heartbreak. This is arguments. This is, and this could be some kind of repetitive thing that you've, you've had to keep 
experiencing. Um, yeah, I'm getting the phrase time and time again. It's like you've really done this. You've, you've lived life at this plane. You know what this is. And it's like, oh, yes, last night I was reading the Louise Hay book and she said this thing about how when you get angry, like you encounter something and then you get angry and then you live some life and then you encounter it again and then you get angry and then you live some life and then oh, you encounter it again and you get angry and you live some life. And she did it. She wrote it in, in the book and she kept writing the anger thing. And I, I thought there was a printing error, but it's like, no, she really wanted to emphasize the point that you do this thing, you get angry, and then you live some life, and then it happens again. She was really emphasizing it. And she was saying that, like, you don't have to keep doing that. You know, you, you can just, just stop. And I see this as, like, meditation. I'm going to read this as a bit of a pause. And I think ultimately what you, I think... All of this is going to become so incredibly clear. You're going to see the pattern recurring and you're going to see yourself and you're going to see that, yeah, I keep responding the same way. When you pause, you'll see it. You'll understand the dynamic. In meditation, and I am going to read this as meditation. This is a great word here because sometimes I disagree with the words that are here, but this is great because in meditation, you are going to give yourself some distance to be able to see. You will be able to look at what this is. You will see it for what it is, and you'll see your repetitive habit and your repetitive way, and you'll just, you'll just let it go. You'll just be like, oh, I don't need to keep doing life that way. And you're going to see this if you meditate, if you take some time out, if you relax, if you spend time looking at this, if you spend time journaling about this, if you spend time watching some really good spiritual teachers. I watched Lee Harris the other day talk about narcissism. I think it's like a two hour video or something like that. It was so good. And yeah, I saw a whole bunch of things and I was like, wow, okay, yep, I'm seeing, I'm learning it again. Now, once you see what this is, you are going to stop. You're totally going to, this is showing me here, this is really strong. And this is showing that you're going to figure this out to the point that you are coming down off the roof and you're going to teach it or share it or um, something really good here and this is your future and there's a new beginning in love as well and that can be in any which way you want to see that that can be a new partner a new romantic partner but that can be uh, more love in your life like experiencing a deeper vibration of love experiencing a deeper current of love that love means more that you're able to give more love to more people it's really fantastic your future is very fantastic i know what you've been through is very difficult but you are you've 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 done it you know, repetitively and, and to the point where you, you are now ready to let that go. You're now ready to see it for what it is. It's taking a step back and seeing it from a bird's eye view and, yeah, and, and to next time it comes around, you won't do the anger. You might do something very different. And I think you will do something different. We've got this cherry blossom turn up here. Yeah. I'm, I'm really liking this reading group through. This is great energy here. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on in the quotes. Ooh, I like this. I like this for you guys a lot. Go further than you planned. Ask for the moon. You will be surprised how often you get it. Yeah, dream big, reach high, dreams, new love, go for it, go for the best thing now. 
don't go back to this or back to these types of people or whatever this was don't go back you know yeah and go further than you planned wonderful i love it excellent these quotes are great oh amazing yeah life sometimes separates people so that they can realize how much they mean to each other absolutely and sometimes so that you can see how much you mean to yourself you know this is speaking of a separation there is the yeah you are separating from a dynamic a pattern a type of person something there's something that you are you can see it all as well and it's, it's not going to trigger you i think this is there's massive healing this is a card of healing as well okay i know it's sorrow but major major healing group three if you haven't done it yet you're going to do it it's in your future you're you're meant to do it incredible the the quotes for this group are so good don't give to anyone the power to put you down haters are losers pretending to be winners absolutely i'm telling you yeah these people are not they're not your tribe and and you, you know yeah they were pressing on the buttons louise hay talks about this she says that but they're your buttons you know they they they're your buttons so you need to heal the buttons and then you mean smooth right <laughs> like you know that button <laughs> so like that's that's very much the idea and and that's what they were doing they were poking at the buttons to show you well hey you've got this you've got this you've got this so they were doing a service you know but like they were pointing out what's there but now you smooth yourself there's no button to push and you're just going to be you're going to be busy being creative you're going to be busy having a good time you're going to be busy i think teaching and sharing your knowledge and i'm definitely getting that from this here you're going to be teaching sharing giving inspiring you're going to be doing a lot of great things in the future group three wow i'm so impressed with this spread thank you so much for tuning in let me know how you get on in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time